Hey guys, I just wanted to start off by letting you guys know that I also posted this video on the Clash Army channel. If you guys don't know what the Clash Army is, go look it up. Uh, it's a bunch of us YouTubers all on one channel collaborating, posting every single day. It's a lot of fun over there, so go check that out. Um, otherwise, you can continue watching this one, or you can go over to that channel and watch it over there. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and jump into the video, alright? Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, from the channel Gaming with Molt. So happy to have you guys here today. Uh, our video today is going to be a little bit different. I've been getting this question a lot, and uh, I thought it'd be cool to make a video on the answer of said question. That question being, Molt, uh, I'm starting a new channel. Do you have any tips for me? So a lot of you guys have watched us YouTubers grow and you've really enjoyed it and you've wanted to in turn make your own channel as well. Um, and you know, you can only really learn through doing it yourself or talking to people that have in turn done it themselves as well. You know, I started this channel or I started my channel um, in May of 2013, so about a year and a half ago, and have now almost reached 200,000 subscribers and it was, uh, it happened through a lot of trial and error. Um, so there's a couple things that I want to lay out for you guys that I definitely think are important that you should be sure to do for those of you who want to start um, your own channels. And for those people who don't want to start their own channels but just like watching it, why don't you all comment down below what you think makes a good channel, okay? So first of all, I'm just going to say that I think the most important thing is to be yourself. Um, I'm a weird guy. I can be pretty weird. Uh, I'm not too serious a lot of times, and that's just me. That's who I am. I'm not pretending to be anybody else. Um, a lot of people will leave comments on my videos talking about my style or asking whether or not I'm gay or something like that, and I'm sure that has to do with the fact that I don't just wear Guy Harvey shirts in all my videos or something. I like to dress and look I don't know, different. <laughs> so I like style and I'm being myself. So for you, if um, you're a little bit weird or if you're serious or if you're not comfortable with your voice or anything like that, just be yourself and people are going to grow to like you. I bet when PewDiePie first started, people thought he was freaking weird because he's all over the place, but he's just being himself and I'm just being myself and I definitely encourage you guys to be yourselves as well. Um, second, uh, I would say be involved in the community, be involved in the Clash forums, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. When I first started, I was on the forums a lot, I was talking on there a lot, I was tweeting at Clash of Clans, I was tweeting at other YouTubers. I wasn't spamming them, but I was tweeting them. So along those lines of being involved, don't spam. Don't go onto other people's channels and say, hey, come check out my channel, please, it's cool, I promise you'll like it, because it doesn't look good for you. I promise you, it doesn't look good for you. Find uh, other ways to do it through Twitter, tweeting at Clash of Clans. Don't like tweet at Molt all the time or at Chief Pat or at Nick and Knight, any of those other guys, at BJ Can Dive. Don't tweet at those people all the time because it can get a little bit annoying and overwhelming. So just, you can tweet at them, just don't spam them. And again, don't spam comments either because people look at those and then they automatically say, I'm not going to watch that person's video. <laughs> So um, that's one big thing. Another one is to be unique, be original. Uh, I was the first person to do the pig or horse type series. Um, I did it with, B with BJ Can Dive over a year, probably a year and a half ago. It was a really long time ago. Uh, we played horse, you can go watch that. And then I did it with J-Rod, then I did it with Landon, then I did it with Nick at Night, then I did it with BJ again. Um, so be original, come up with random things. You know, I've had a couple of random series. One of them was pick a corner where you would attack from one corner. One of them was, uh, shoot, what are some of the other ones that I've done? I don't know. Like you don't always have to be unique. You can do an all P.E.K.K.A. raid. You can do an all Gollum raid. You can do all that because it's interesting and people might like to see your style at it. But also try and be unique. Try and be original. Everybody's going to do challenge me series. Everybody's going to do all that kind of stuff. Try and come up with some new things. Like I just saw Chief Pat came up with a new thing uh, like undefeated or something where he's going to see how high he can get without losing a single attack. That's cool. Nobody's ever done that before. I haven't seen them do that. Um, Chief Pat also did uh, champs with or defenseless champion. Um, I kind of played off of that and did clash without walls. Uh, I have all my defenses except walls. It's just another way of doing it, and it's interesting. 
Um, I've seen other people rush their base all the way up to Town Hall 10 and make a series on that. So just be interesting, be unique, be different, and uh, it's going to definitely make a big difference in who you are and whether your videos are good. Uh, I would also say just be confident. Don't worry about what people think. I get a lot of hate. Everybody gets hate. Haters are out there and they are fueling the fire of YouTube. So if it wasn't for the haters, then we probably wouldn't be as big as we are because, I don't know, they're going to watch our videos too and the views help out. So um, don't worry about what people say but still take some of it into regard. If someone tells you that you're an idiot and you're a loser and you suck at the game, don't listen to them. But if someone says, hey, I like the video, but I think next time you should edit out your searching, okay, I'll do that because it'll make uh, the video a little more acceptable to people. But um, <clears throat> just be yourself. Uh, another big thing is finding someone to collaborate around your channel size. Uh, I would say within five to 10,000. So if you have... Uh, a thousand subs, find somebody up to five or ten thousand and uh, see if they'll work with you. Don't look at the big YouTubers all the time because we're all working with each other and we started out low. Me and BJ can dive, I think he might have been at ten thousand when I was at like six hundred or something and he found me and we worked together and he grew a lot and we grew together and now we're both up where we are. Um, same with like Nick at Night and Landon have done stuff together. I've done stuff with other people. Find people around your size um, and work with them. Uh, unless you're like really unique and really original and really cool, then you might find some big YouTubers that would want to work with you because it'll be good content. But if you're just doing the regular Clash of Clans content, Let's Plays, Matt Road to Champs, Masters, whatever, whatever, then find somebody around your size to collaborate with because it'll make your channel a lot um, better and you'll have somebody to grow with. It's cool to grow with another YouTuber. Um, it's a lot of fun. I've definitely enjoyed that. But for the most part, guys, just be yourself. Do your own thing. Don't worry about what the haters say or the trolls say. Listen to the real fans. Find people around your level to work with. Just be yourself and be unique, all right? But that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comment. For those of you who aren't starting channels or anything, uh, then comment down below as to what you like to see from YouTubers and what makes your favorite YouTuber your favorite YouTuber. What do you guys like about me, Mole? What do you guys like about my channel? Comment that kind of stuff so that other people can see, uh, I don't know, what works and what doesn't work. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing some new channels that come out, all right? As always, guys, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.